Chapter 5 The Story of Sindabad the Sailor The story of Sindabad and his seven fantastic voyages appears in the huge collection of stories, The Book of 1001 Nights or The Arabian Nights. The story tells us that Sindabad was a famous sailor who lived in Baghdad. He was honest, generous and brave. He had many adventures on each of his voyages. He never lost heart and hope in dangerous situations. He overcame great dangers and returned home safely from each of his voyages. Here's the story of his first voyage. The first voyage. Sindabad set sail with a company of merchants on a big ship. From time to time, they stopped at various ports. There, they sold their merchandise and bought new things to trade. Merchandise are goods or things for sale. Trade means to sell. One day, when their ship was sailing smoothly across the sea, they spotted a small island at a distance. Island is a land surrounded by water from all sides. They had not seen land for many days and felt both surprised and happy to see the island. They sailed close to the island. The captain of the ship allowed them to go there for a picnic. Everyone was excited. Excited means very happy. On the island, they strolled around, sang and danced. Strolled means walked here and there. Some people began to wash clothes. Some lit fires to cook meals. Soon, a breeze sprang up. Sprang up means began to blow suddenly. The fires began to blaze. Blaze means burn strongly. Suddenly, the land began to shake and move. With a shock, the picnic party realized that the island was not an island at all. They were on the back of a huge sea monster and it had started moving. People began to scream. They left their pots and pans, their clothes, both washed and unwashed, and rushed back to the ship. The captain ordered his men to set sail immediately in order to move away from the monster. The sea monster plunged deep into the sea. Plunged means jump or dive quickly and energetically. Many of the people managed to climb aboard the ship, but many sank into the sea with the so-called island. Aboard means to catch ship. Sindabad alone did not drown in the sea. But he could not reach the ship. He saw it sailing far, far away. He was now at the mercy of the waves being tossed here and there. He clung to a piece of wood and somehow managed to keep afloat. Afloat means floating. He spent the night alone at sea. When the next day dawned, Sindabad was happy to see that he had floated near an island, a real big island. He could see hills and woods and trees at a distance. Though he was extremely tired, he swam to the shore with all the strength that he could muster. All the strength that he could muster means all the strength that he could use at that time. Exhausted and hungry, he lay on the sand for some time. Then again, he made an effort and began to walk inland 
towards the shady fruit trees that he could see at a distance. Inland means towards an area of land away from the seashore. Luckily, this was the time when the king of that island sent his horses to the seashore with the grooms. Grooms are persons who take care of horses. The grooms saw Sindhabad and gave him food and drink. Then they took him to the king. The king was impressed by the way Sindhabad told him about what had happened. He asked Sindhabad to stay with him and work as an officer of the king at the port. Sindhabad stayed there for a few days, learning a lot from the king and the people of the island, and in turn telling them about the other cities and ports that he had visited. At the port, Sindhabad often made inquiries about any ships coming from or going to Baghdad, but no such ship ever came to that port. Then one day, a ship arrived at the island with a lot of merchandise. Sindhabad was at the quay when the cargo from that ship was being unloaded. Quay is a platform in a port or harbour where boats come to load or unload their luggage. Cargo means goods carried on a ship. He was surprised to see that his own name was marked on some of the boxes. Then he went to see the captain of the ship. At first, the captain could not believe that it was the same Sindhabad that they had seen drowning in the sea. But when Sindhabad spoke to him face to face, he recognized him. He was overjoyed to see Sindhabad alive. He gave him back all his merchandise. From the goods that he thus got back, Sindhabad presented the most valuable items to the king of the island, saying, Please accept this, Your Majesty. You have been very kind and very generous to me. The king was pleased. He too gave Sindhabad many valuable gifts when Sindhabad left the island with a merchant ship. If you want to know what happened to Sindhabad afterwards, you have to read the rest of the story of his fantastic voyages. Extract 1. The story of Sindhbad to cook meals. Question 1. Write the answers to the following questions. 1. With whom did Sindhbad set sail? Answer. Sindhbad set sail with a company of sailors. 2. What did the people do on the island? Answer. The people strolled around and sang and danced on the island. Some began to wash clothes, while some lit fires to cook meals. Question 2. Using only the letters of the word merchandise, make at least five new and meaningful words. Answer. The new meaningful words formed from the word merchandise are die, hard, hide, ride, made, and reach. Question 3. Make sentences of your own using the following phrases. 1. On the island. Answer. There were many animals on the island. 2. At a distance. Answer. He could see the monster at a distance. 3. For many days. Answer. The traveller did not eat anything for many days. 4. For a picnic. Answer. All the children of Standard 3 went for a picnic. Question 4. Open-ended question. Question. Imagine and write down in a few lines what the people there might have said when they saw a small island at a distance. Answer. The people might have said, Hurrah! An island! Now finally we can walk about, sing and dance. We can even light fires and cook fresh meals.
extract 2 soon a breeze alone at sea question 1 write the answers to the following questions 1 what happened to the land suddenly answer the land suddenly began to shake and move 5 the island was not a real island then what was it answer the island was actually the back of a huge sea monster 6 what order did the captain give his men answer the captain ordered his men to set sail immediately question 2 write one or two lines about the sea monster answer the sea monster was huge most of its body was under the water when it felt the hot fire on its back it plunged deep into the sea question 3 using only the letters of the word immediately make at least five new and meaningful words answer the new meaningful words formed from the word immediately are date late tail eight eat meat and meal question 4 open-ended questions imagine and write down in a few lines what the people there might have said one when the island began to shake and move answer when the island began to shake and move the people might have said hey what's the matter why is the earth moving is it an earthquake help two when some people manage to climb aboard the ship answer when some people manage to climb aboard the ship they might have said come on hold my hand and climb you will be safe or thank god i'm safe now to help the others come on extract 3 when the next day came to that port question 1 write whether the following statements are true or false 1 Sindbad again reached a false island false 2 Sindbad was very tired and hungry true 3. The king put Sinbad in prison. False. 4. The grooms gave Sinbad something to eat and drink. True. Question 2. Complete the following. 1. Sinbad could see hills and. Answer. Sinbad could see hills and woods and trees at a distance. 2. The grooms took Sinbad to. Answer. The grooms took Sinbad to the king. 3. The king asked Sinbad to work as Answer. The king asked Sinbad to work as an officer of the king at the port. 4. No such ship ever Answer. No such ship ever came to that port. Question 3. Using only the letters of the word exhausted, make at least 5 new and meaningful words. Answer. The new meaningful words formed from the word exhausted are shut, hut, date, seat, seed and exhaust. Question 4. Open-ended question. Imagine and write down in a few lines what the grooms there might have said when they saw Sinbad on the show. Answer. The grooms might have said, Hello, who are you? How did you come here? Are you hungry? You can have some food and drink. Extract 4 Then one day, the story of his fantastic voyages. Question 1. Say why. 1. Why was Sinbad surprised? Answer. Sinbad was surprised because he saw his own name marked on some of the boxes on the ship that had arrived at the island. 2. Why was the captain overjoyed? Answer. The captain was overjoyed because he saw Sinbad alive. Question 2. Say what did? 1. What did Sinbad give the king? Answer. Sinbad gave the king the most valuable items from the goods that he had got back. 2. What did the king give Sinbad? Answer. The king gave Sinbad many valuable gifts. 
थ्री वॉट डिड द कैप्टन गिव सिंधबाद आंसर द कैप्टन गिव सिंधबाद बैक ऑल इज मर्चेंडाइज क्वेश्चन थ्री यूजिंग ओनली द लेटर्स ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वर्ड्स मेक एटलीस्ट फाइव न्यू एंड मीनिंगफुल वर्ड्स वन वैल्यूएबल आंसर द न्यू मीनिंगफुल वर्ड्स फॉर्म फ्रॉम द वर्ड वैल्यूएबल आर वैल्यू एबल बेल ऑल बॉल एंड बुल टू जेनरस आंसर द न्यू मीनिंगफुल वर्ड्स फॉर्म फ्रॉम द वर्ड जेनरस आर अस आर ग्रीन श्योर सन and sun question 4 write a few lines about one sindbad answer sindbad was a famous sailor who lived in baghdad he was honest generous and brave he had many adventures on each of his voyages he never lost heart and hope in dangerous situations he overcame great dangers and returned home safely from each of his voyages two the king of the island answer the king of the island was kind hearted and generous when sinbad had no place to go to he asked sinbad to stay with him he also asked him to work as an officer of the king at the port he gave sinbad many valuable gifts when sinbad left the island question 5 match the words with the correct meanings answer 1 overjoyed very happy two valuable very costly three generous very kind question 6 open ended questions question 1 imagine and write down in a few lines what the captain of the ship might have said when he recognized sinbad answer when he recognized sinbad the captain of the ship might have said ahoy there You are Sinbad, aren't you? Sinbad, how did you reach this place? Question two. Imagine and write down in a few lines what Sinbad might have said on the occasion of saying goodbye to the king. Answer. On the occasion of saying goodbye to the king, Sinbad might have said, "Goodbye, Your Majesty. Thank you for all that you have done for me. You have been extremely kind and generous. I shall never forget you." Subscribe our YouTube channel. Press the bell icon on YouTube channel and never miss another update.